Jesus said he's the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but through Jesus Christ. There is no other way to God except through his Son, Jesus Christ. For you to repent of your sins, of your false religion of evolution, your false religion of diversity. God is narrow. There's only one way to God. It's through a holy Savior, Jesus Christ. You must repent of your sins, your fornication, your homosexuality, your drug usage, your marijuana. It's time to wake up and turn to a Savior named Jesus Christ who can save your soul from hell. You're so involved with the world. You're so involved with MTV. You're so involved with the things of the world. It's steering your soul away from God and leading you to hell. I come out here as a loving neighbor to tell you to repent and turn to a Savior, a Messiah, Jesus Christ, who can save your soul from hell. Don't play games with your soul. Turn to Jesus Christ. Jesus to save you from the lake of fire. That's why he died on the cross, to set you free. Stop playing games with Muhammad and Buddha and turn to a savior who died for your sins. See, we all fall short. Every one of us falls short. And we all need a savior. His name is Jesus. He took the punishment for us, upon him, for us, so that we don't have to die in our sins. Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, laid his life down for us, that we don't have to die in our sins. It's time to wake up and turn to a Savior. Oh, I'm sure a lot of you had your parties going on through the summer. It's time to wake up and get real with God and stop playing games with your porno, with your evolution. You need to turn from your wicked ways, turn from your homosexuality, and turn to Jesus Christ who can forgive you of all your sins. Turn to God. Turn to a Savior who can set you free. You need to trust in Jesus, not the things of the world. The things of the world will kill you. You obey the authorities, but you don't want to obey God, the one who gives you breath the one who holds your soul in his hand, who can cast you into hell, you obey the authorities, you obey the CIA, FBI, but you don't want to obey God of the universe that holds your very breath in the palm of his hand, who can set you free. Jesus Christ provides the way. You ladies get a gospel track? You want to? Every one of us falls short. Every one of us broke the Ten Commandments, lie, stole, lust. Jesus said, if you look upon a woman in lust, you commit adultery in your heart. How many people looked at porno? How many people look at that stuff and do things they shouldn't do? It's vile, it's filthy and disgusting before a holy God. God has a higher standard and we all broke it and we can't uphold it. That's why God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for your sins. So that you don't have to die in your sins in hell forever. Rick Warren's going to lead you to hell if you obey him. Billy Graham will lead you to hell. The Jehovah Witnesses, the Mormons, the Catholic Church will lead you straight to hell. Because you must be born again. How can you obey a man like Rick Warren? that says that homosexuality is okay. How can you obey a man like Billy Graham says there's many ways to God? There's only one way to God. His name is Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is, is, is anti-Christian. They put their focus on Mary, the statues. They're part of the Jesuits or the New World Order. You need to repent and turn to Jesus Christ, who can save your soul from hell. I come out here as a good neighbor, a loving neighbor to love you, to warn you, just like a good father disciplines his children because they don't want their children to keep getting in trouble. 
If you continue to let your children lie and steal, they'll wind up in jail. If I continue to turn my back and not love you and tell you the truth, you'll wind up in hell. That's why I come here to warn you to come to God's mercy, His grace. Come to His mercy and grace and be set free. Cry out to God. Godly tears. Godly tears will bring you to repentance. The goodness of God will bring you to repentance. And put your faith in Jesus Christ. You know it takes more faith to be an atheist? It takes more faith to be an atheist to believe we came from monkeys and apes, billions and trillions of years old. When God says the earth is between six and seven thousand years old, if you read through his word and genealogy. But the problem is people don't want to serve God because they rather live in sin. They rather have abortions. They rather live as homosexuals, drunkards, liars, thieves. That's why people are evolutionists and atheists. Because they don't want to submit to a higher God. But you must repent and turn to Jesus Christ who can save your soul from hell. He died on the cross. Him who knew no sin became sin for us so that we don't have to perish in hellfire. God demonstrated his love toward us. While we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. Are you willing to turn to his love and mercy and grace? Are you willing to turn to God's wrath? It's your choice. Don't be deceived by Hollywood. Look at Britney Spears. You uphold her, you praise her. She can do nothing for you. She can't even take care of her kids. But God can take care of his kids. He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. He died for the sins of the world so that you don't have to pass. Turn to a savior. Stop being lied about evolutions. It takes more faith to be an atheist. It takes more faith to be an evolutionist and believe in the truth. Turn to Jesus Christ who can set you free of your sins. God doesn't want you to perish. He wants you to come to repentance. Stop putting your faith in the things of the world. He that believes on the Son, Jesus, has life. He that believes not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abide on him. You must believe. You must repent and surrender to God's authority. You must turn to a Savior and you can be set free. And you can be free indeed through the Son, Jesus Christ, the Savior, God. Wake up and stop playing games with your soul. It's time to wake up, Strasbourg. God is not about diversity. God is not about homosexuality, getting drunk. It's time to wake up and turn to a Savior. Jesus can save your soul from hell. A lot of you's got uniforms, but you need to be uniform with God's uniform. You need the blood of Jesus Christ to save your soul from hell. God provided a way. He sent His only begotten Son that whoever shall believe in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus says repent or perish. The first words of Jesus Christ is to repent and believe in the gospel that he died on the cross. And that he can set you free. Is that a natural house of prayer? No, because you kick God out. The school is not about God no more. It's not a house of prayer. You kick God out. And you wonder why we have tragedies. We wonder why Caliban had, we wonder why the te Virginia Tech, we wonder why these things happen. Because they don't want nothing to do with a savior. They want themselves. You need to repent and turn to a savior who can set you free. Jesus can save you from hellfire. Turn to a savior. If you love God, you keep His commandments. 
Wake up, Stroudsburg, and turn to Jesus Christ. Repent. Look up the word, repent. And put your faith in Jesus Christ. Cry out to God. Don't play games with your soul. Wake up, Stroudsburg, and turn to a Savior, Jesus Christ.